Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's going to be the top four of the LCS. We got Lundridity versus Nezm, and uh, let's just hop right in. So we are going to see Lundridity get to choose if he wants to go first or second. He's going to choose first, 48 versus 44. Opening hand is Gamma, Durandal, Renaud, Fire Flint Lady, Connector. This is good. This is very, very good, actually. Ew, yeah, this is nuts. Then he has Black Dragon, our Black Metal Dragon, White Dragon, One for One, Tracer, and Chaos Space. No hand traps. Um, yeah, against Infernable, that just means GG. So we'll see what he's going for. We did see um, him play in the top eight. So we do know that his end board is gonna be, is gonna it's gonna be enough. It's not like it's gonna be some weak end board with like just smoke, savage, and then a pop because this hand would still just play through that. This hand's crazy. Um, Aqua Dolphin, get rid of Gamma. Look at the opponent's hand. Rip the black metal out of it. And he's not scooping here. He's just letting his opponent look because again, it's top four of a tournament. Your opponent knows what deck you're playing. Um. Like, there's no point in, like, trying to hide it at this point. You may as well just, like, keep playing. Kind of hit the mic there. Sorry if it was, like, a loud noise. Summon Fire Flint Lady. He's going to get rid of Aqua and Fire Flint Lady to make a soul. The soul to add. He's going to add Red Lair. In reality, he could just loop this whole hand if he wants to. And it'll, he could. He's playing the DDR stuff, too. Bring out Oliver. Wonder if he's just playing power tool like if he's playing the whole like power tool thing or if he's just playing like one of this maybe he just plays like one power tool it's like add to randall as an extender uh connector bring out aqua dolphin banish two add back blade then aqua dolphin effect get rid of blade look at the opponent's hand it's gonna get rid of a sold for link cross link cross effect bring out tokens then he's going to use Oliver and Link Cross to make Needle. Needle bring out Plague. Then he's going to go in the Metal. Metal effect. That's going to bring out Oliver. Oliver and Token to make Garden. Garden effect to search. Black Garden. Okay, so I do have one small problem with how he did this. I think he should have... He knows the opponent's hand. I think he should have waited on the Aqua Dolphin. Um, he should have left Connector in Grave and banished uh, where is it? a Soul instead. Because he could have just done... The blade effect right here. Um, leaving this in grave. I believe that later on he's, he's going to... He could have ripped another card from hand with that effect. Um, again, I don't think it's going to matter here. Because, like, he knows that he just full combos and, like, VFD's just game. Uh, but still, like, I don't know. It's a little thing. Tribute to bring out war. Then he's going to get a token. Goes in the Coral, gets another token, then goes in the Croc, he's going to get Croc, Coral, Black Dragon, or Black Garden, draws Gear Freed, Oliver, this is a good draw, and then he's going to use Black Garden, pop the tokens, bring out Coral, then goes in the Vermilion, Banish Garden, bring out Coral, goes in the Charles, then goes in the VFD, Special Summon Renaud, Renaud Effect, that's going to add back Living Fossil, Living Fossil, see right here, right here, um, this would be banished, you would target Connector, and then you'd use Connector Effect to tribute itself, to summon out Aqua Dolphin from Grave, it, it's only negated on field, so tribute for cost, and just summon back, uh, then he'd get to use the Aqua Dolphin Effect here, since it wouldn't be under the lot, uh, whoa, it wouldn't be under the Living Fossil negate, so realistically, you could have also ripped the white dragon from hand, and then smoke to rip like the one from one for one for one from hand. It doesn't really matter. And then you put your opponent on the half the top deck dark ruler plus a monster to discard for chaos space, which is just impossible. Which means you win, taking all the possible ways of your opponent winning out of the game. And he's drawing Reborn. He tries summoning Gear Freed there. The opponent scoops. And now moving on to game two. 
Uh, we're gonna see dragons go first, obviously. Uh, the open hands is Durandal, Rhoda, Connector, Durandal, Heritage. You know, this just has no hand traps. Droll would also like, but like if there wasn't Connector here, Droll would be so funny versus his hand. Then he has Levianir, Driver, Chaos Space, Reborn, Black Metal, uh, full combo, full combo. So guess what? He's gonna full combo. And you can't say that. I hate it when people say that this is just a dice roll deck. They, like, look. Yeah, they're playing, like, over 40 cards. They have to play a good amount of hand traps to be able to stop the opponent. They have to play a good amount of starters and extenders to be able to play game one. Um, these decks are not super easy to build. Chaos Space, get rid of Driver to add Black. I don't know. I don't, definitely don't think it's a dire roll format. Banish Driver, Summon, and then he's going to get rid of it. Summon out Striker, he's going to get Striker in black, add white, and add boot. And then Banish black, summon out white, and then Chaos Space, put back black, to draw a Nocto, that's, uh, that's good. It's going to be good to you. Gets to make Romulus, I uh, guess to add black, and gets to add Divine Lands. I think for this tournament, I wouldn't have played Nocto just because of how popular Droll was going to be. Um, everyone expected, well, I expected it to be in, like, a lot of the people's main decks. So, if I was to play in this, if I was to play Dragons, I would have just cut Nocto. It's not like it's a card you have to play. Um, when Droll, like, becomes not popular again, this is gonna become good again. Divine Lance, bring out Phalanx, Phalanx summon itself. Go into Link Cross, Link Cross is gonna bring out Tokens. Then go in the metal, metal effect, that's gonna bring out Phalanx. Then go in the Herald, no need to play it risky. Then go in the Needle, Needle bring out Red Rose. Then Normal Summon Black makes LP. Then makes Striker Dragon, gets to add Red MD. And then LP brings out Tracer from deck. Goes in the Protector, goes in the Pisty. Um, banishes three darks from grave, including tracer to summon Levianir right here. Never mind, because you're gonna go for Nocto instead. Fair enough. Uh, and then goes for Seal. And then goes for Union Carrier. He's gonna get to draw talents off of Nocto. Uh, banish three darks. Whoa, the <laughs> wrong, wrong one, wrong one. But summon out Levianir, Levianir effect. Um, hits Durandal, the worst card to hit in the hand. And then equips Buster to Levianir, Tracer, pop the Union Carrier, bring out a Recharger, then make Savage. I said this before in a video that if you can equip Buster to something that's not Savage, it's pretty good because uh, they already want to out Savage because it has a negate. So if you can equip it to like Levianir, then they have to out the Savage negate, then out the Levianir. Instead of potentially just outing this, which outs the Savage Negate and the Buster. Um, equip Needle to Savage. Pass turn, draws Heritage. This guy just drew terrible. Like, just multiples upon multiples. Normal Connector effect. Yeah, you can't win that. Uh, moving on to game three. We're going to see Infernoble go first. The opening hand is Gamma, Blade, Plague, Red Lair, Fire Flint. Uh, it's not good. It's not good, but it is combo. I mean, think of it as like needle fibers combo. So you're pretty much gonna accomplish combo in every single hand. But it's just if you can do it with your hand traps or not. Then he has Tracer, Divine Lance, Nib, Nocto, Tracer. He's playing through Nib with a bad hand oh you can't play through nib with a bad hand and infernal but they just drop it at the right time so let's find out if he drops it at the right time or not summon red layer summon fire flint lady a sold with no normals wild goes into a sold then a sold to search adds gear freed plays in the ogre time a little bit risky i guess um there was like, dragon players playing, like, only high-impact hand traps. Like, they were playing, like, 3 Ogre, 3 Gamma, 3 Nib, 3 Gizmic, Uka. 
uh, three droll, 15 hand traps in 60. Uh, so it's like it's definitely possible to see stuff like that happen where you get ogre on a sold against dragons. Uh, sending four to summon out Oliver. Then makes Link Cross, Link Cross effect, bringing out tokens. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know what you're going to do here. It's going to make Needle. Uh, needle to summon back. I don't know. He could have used like Oliver and Token, make Roland, but then like that's playing around Nibs so much that you're not even going for your normal combo anymore. Um, yeah, because he could have definitely made Savage before using Needle Effect. If he's playing Savage, again, like we don't know what his list is. Um, he's gonna get hit with Nib right here. And then that, yeah, he doesn't have anything. So he went through his needle effect. Normal summon plague. Goes for needle. That can tag out during the opponent's turn for metal, which can bring back Oliver. Um, formula, if he plays it, which I doubt since he's playing like the whole VFD combo. Draws boot. That's just a bad draw. Normal summon tracer. Link in the striker. Uh, Nocto summon itself out. Then goes into Romulus, Romulus 1, Nocto 2, draws red and D. Oh, never mind, he's not using Romulus, doesn't play Dragon Ravine, and he already opened up Divine Lance. Maybe he also sided out Dragon Ravine because he's going second. Makes sense. Uh, Divine Lance, equip Phalanx, and Phalanx summon itself. Um, make Link Cross. He accidentally pressed end turn there, but very obvious that it was a misclick. Goes into metal, metal effect, bring out phalanx. Then go in the herald. Yes, sir, in attack mode. I love this. Whenever you're like you're pushing, you can just summon herald and attack. Because if you ever use this effect, it's off board. And if they're going to battle phase to force it, then it's going to die anyways. But you're just going to take damage this way. But you're also going to deal it. Uh, make LP, then go in the protector, LP effect. Um, oh, never mind. On summon, he's going to use needle. Like, what is he hoping for? Like, he, he's hoping that he, like, herald negates this. Or he's using needle. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. He doesn't have, like, nib in hand or anything. So he's hoping that, like, he herald negates and then he gets to summon Gamma out. And then he just has enough bodies to where he doesn't die. Marcher, bring out Oliver. But he still will just lose here. Uh, brings out Brotar. And then Brotar, get rid of Red MD to add Levy. Then get rid of that. Summon Pisty. Uh, Pisty, bring out the Red MD that was banished. Then he's going to go in the sword. Uh, Red MD to summon back out Tracer. Tracer, pop Red MD, bring out Recharger. Go in the Savage. Savage, equip Romulus. Banish Lights and Dark, summon out Levianir. Levianir effect. Why didn't he summon Levianir and pop the board? Tracer, pop that. Leave Red MD on board. Um, that was a misplay. And he could have sword, switch, defense, whatever he was popping with Tracer beforehand. Um, I guess he could have also just sword, switched Hero to defense afterwards. But, oh, we're going to see Lundridity admit their feet here. His hand was just not strong enough to play through Nib. His hand was definitely on the weaker side. Um, you'll have that, though, with this deck, where it just can't play through Nib sometimes. But you'll have that with, like, every combo deck. Um, but that's going to be it for the video. This was the top four. The next match that's getting uploaded is the finals. I know you guys can't wait for that. There's been like, this is the fifth upload of the day. And there's still another one coming. So just know it's going to be out. Just give it like an hour after this video probably. Uh, but that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder signing off. Peace.